Fournette. Fournette goes airborne. He's in. Touchdown, Jaguars. Tip and intercepted by Ramsey to close it out. It's over. The Jacksonville Jaguars have pulled off the upset of the playoffs. What is going on, everybody? It is Treep from Treep Talks here, here to preview the week number 13 matchup between the three win Indianapolis Colts and the 11 and 1 Jacksonville Jaguars, who have already clinched their playoff spot. Will we play the starters? Will we not? Will we beat the Colts by 50? Will this also be Cody Kessler's? First NFL start after Blake Bortles has thrown 3,000 yards already, 25 touchdowns, and only 5 interceptions. So let's preview the game, ladies and gentlemen. What's uh, what's going on, everybody? It's Tree from Tree Talks here. I'm here to preview the 3-win Jaguar team against one of the hottest teams in football, the Indianapolis Colts, after Blake Bortles has been benched. And Nathaniel Hackett has has been fired. Jalen Ramsey this year is coming in with seven interceptions, and those also a big bulk of them came the last time we played the Colts when he picked when he picked off Andrew Luck three times. Jalen Ramsey's having an MVP like season alongside running back Leonard Fournette. So those two can also come in. Leonard, who's been healthy all season, has never gotten to a fight a day in his life. He's never been injured a day in his life either, and he's never been suspended. And he's averaging 5.5 yards per carry, better than a lot of us expected. And this Colts defense, Leonard Fournette should be able to run through him after his 200-yard performance last week. Whew. We have a new offensive coordinator, Cody Kessler is our quarterback. Um, and Leonard Fournette is suspended this game due to fighting Shaq Lawson last week, so, uh, Carlos Hyde gets the start, TJ Yeldon does, I'd imagine, Carlos Hyde might get a little bit more carries, and Jalen Ramsey might be able to get his fourth interception on the year this year, maybe? And let's talk about our defense, and why the Colts will just not be able to throw on our defense, the number one pass rated defense, the number one run defense, the number one overall defense. I can tell you Telvin Smith has been making strides to becoming a better player every single year of his career thus far. And this game should be no different, should continue to add on to his success this year and make sure the Jaguars walk away with a victory. God, this defense has regressed. And I swear to God, if Telvin Smith gets burned on another passing route and allows Eric Ebron to score three more fucking touchdowns, I am going to be absolutely chapped. And now time for my final score prediction for this game. I am going to say 27 to 7, especially with Cody Kessler getting the start. You know, he's the backup. Blake Bortles, who's had an MVP caliber year. No one has quite clinched the playoffs this early in the season. Uh, an all-time record, actually. So, you know, Blake Bortles has earned that rest. I'd like to see him put up a little bit more stats. I am happy to see that uh, Leonard Fournette is going to get the start because he's also having an MVP-like year. Already cracked uh, 1,000 yards and 1,700 all-purpose yards. And I think the Jags are going to run away with this one, even with Cody Kessler as their quarterback. Man, we're probably going to lose this game, but I'm excited to see Cody Kessler play. I'm excited to see what the new OC calls. And, um, yeah, you know, we're used to this as Jags fans to have our season completely in the dumpster. But I still think the Colts probably are going to win this game. The Colts, I think, are going to win this game 27-14. to and the losing streak continues for the Jaguars. And that was my Jaguars versus Colts week number 13 expectation versus reality preview. What'd you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to check the links down below as well. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at True Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Trevon Pixley. Follow me on Instagram at Trayvon Pixley. Also, if you're feeling so generous, you can go ahead and donate on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash Treve Talks. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody outworking me. Devs are just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great day.